What's it like to get deactivated? Well, stick around and I'll tell you about it. Hi everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to the channel. I'll give you tips and tricks on how to improve your earnings and ratings as a food delivery driver. So one topic that always comes up is that threat of being deactivated. I did get deactivated off of DoorDash and I'll cover in this video the details surrounding that, the root cause, which is actually an adversarial relationship between DoorDash, the customers, and the drivers, and then finally wrap it up with some key learnings for you. So let's get right into it. So here's what happened. I was delivering on various food delivery companies. All the DoorDash orders that you can see in the screenshot, I declined, I did not take them. So on DoorDash, I did zero orders that day. So again, on that morning, I did zero orders. And I'll read the letter that I wrote to DoorDash where you can uh, appeal your de deactivation and it'll give you information on what happened. Dear DoorDash, please activate my account. I think the app crashed or had issues this morning. I have no idea why you would automatically deactivate me for suspected fraud. I would never mark an order as delivered unless I did in fact deliver it. Today, February 5th, 2021, I declined a Jamba Juice order about 8.26 a.m. I do not recall seeing an order for coffee, bean, and tea leaf. At 10.34 a.m., I declined a Walmart grocery order that was roughly $21.50. I accepted a Pokey Stop order that came in minutes after that for $10.50 for five items at a total of about five to six miles. I was already at the Pokey Stop location when I accepted the order. And as you can see in this attached video, I'm in the location where I was. So as I received that order and I started walking towards the restaurant, you'll notice in that video, I think everything's fine. Then all of a sudden I stop and I'm looking at my phone because the order disappeared. So I knew something strange had happened. I came back to my car and restarted the app and that's when I saw that I had been deactivated. So let me continue. So I was already at the Pokestop location when I accepted the order and as I was walking to the restaurant, the order disappeared. I tried to get back into the app and then restarted my phone. This is when I discovered that your company deactivated me. As of January 11th, 2021, I had 480 lifetime deliveries and a customer rating of 4.93. I had a 28% acceptance rate, 99% completion rate, and a 93% on time or early rate. In 2020, I earned roughly $3,400 delivering food for your company. I respectfully ask that you reactivate my account immediately and then work to figure out what went wrong. As you can see from my account standing, any accusation of fraud against me is unlikely and extremely out of character. Please do not let this wrongful termination or wrongful deactivation stand. I have dash cam footage both inside and outside of everything that happened today in my vehicle and you are welcome to review it. If my deactivation was from other previous orders, please let me know the days and times and I can provide video recording footage of that as well. I record all my deliveries and maintain the footage. Thank you. So that was my appeal to DoorDash. That was about a week ago. I haven't heard back. Hopefully they'll respond, but in reality, I'm not counting on it. So that gets me into the second part. Uh, what's the root cause of the deactivation or the root cause of this problem? It's really an adversarial relationship between food delivery companies, rideshare, et cetera, the customers and the drivers. I already know from previous experience with customer service, with other food delivery apps, that they don't care. Um, unfortunately, the customer service function, it seems like English is not their primary language, so there could be some understanding issues going on. And even worse would be as if that company's encouraging, them, encouraging their employees not to help the drivers with their issues. So in essence, it's almost better once you have to contact customer service, you might as well just forget it and go do some more deliveries or more rides and make some more money. So the root cause is an adversarial relationship. I don't understand why that's the case. I know that the food delivery companies are a go between the customer restaurant and the food delivery driver, but it shouldn't be that way. 
They already have access to our cell phone data, GPS location. We have text messages. We take pictures of the food delivery. So it's unfortunate that the company wants to automatically take the side of the customer who could be lying in order to get free food. And then the driver gets fired because of that. And that's definitely a sad event, a wrongful termination. It's sad. So here are some key learnings for you. Know that you are expendable. That's simple. You are expendable. No one cares and no one's going to care. So you are taking a risk when you're out doing different food delivery companies, rideshare, et cetera. Any of the gig economy companies, you're expendable. So protect yourself. Um, one thing that's good is there's insurance out there. I've heard of Cover with a K that you can uh, subscribe to and they'll support you in times of trouble and that's an option. Another thing is just work for many companies so that you're not relying on one source of income. This is just smart business practice and you owe it to yourself to make sure that you protect yourself. Another thing that you can do is always document everything you do. So in the chance that they happen to ask you for proof of, you know, you're guilty until proven innocent, at least you'll have cell phone footage, uh, pictures and video that you can provide to help defend yourself. So I have dash cams. Um, I use my cell phone quite frequently and it's a good idea. Just constantly protect yourself. So how does it feel to get deactivated? It feels pretty bad. I feel like I've been ghosted. I feel like in today's cancel culture that I've been erased. And really, I just feel like I've been treated like a piece of trash. I'm easily discarded, not needed anymore and not appreciated. And it definitely doesn't feel good. I am not trash. I'm worthy of dignity and respect. So I do thank you for your attention in watching this video and share in the comments below, is, is something like this happened to you and how did you deal with it? All right, I wish you the best. I'm gonna be fine. I hope that DoorDash reactivates me, but if not, I will keep moving on and working for other companies. So stay safe out there. Remember, document everything. Do it to protect yourself. And in the future, let's hope that there's not that adversarial relationship between customers, restaurants, and drivers. It just doesn't have to be that way. All right, take care.